What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. We're gonna be talking about Desire Toxic here. This is the Latence version with top notes of saffron, cardamom, bergamot, and lemon with mid notes of black currant, mint, tonka bean, and cinnamon and base notes of cannabis, musk, patchouli, and moss. Now, the one thing to note with this one is it does have that cannabis kind of note mixture in here. So it can come across a little bit kind of a drug dealer, like a sexy douchebag drug dealer. A boyfriend that your parents don't approve of that sells weed in his downtime, like a bowling alley manager. It's pretty sexy though. You're gonna find that this one has a lot of stain power. It's gonna linger around the air. I've gotten three compliments from this thing in different different circumstances. And even one of the compliments, I got three different compliments in the one setting. So I'll just put that as like one compliment, I suppose. I was at like a formal event and three people commented on the way I smelled. They, they all said, wow, you smell delicious. I was like, thank you, I love you. I didn't kiss them, that's sexual harassment. Only if they got it coming. So there is a bit of a fruity nuance in here too, kind of like at the top, that's really nice, fresh, clean, fruity kind of sweetness in here. Um, but this quickly dries down to a really nice cardamom heavy. It's got this nice green aspect. And I'm not a huge fan of the cannabis kind of note mixture, the cannabis kind of like hoard that they got going on in here. But I think it's really, really fantastic in this. I don't know about other fragrances, but in this, it's really good. It has a nice sexy appeal to it, and it's really, really rich. It almost reminds me a lot of Dior Sauvage Elixir in that kind of same sexy ballpark. And the stain power is definitely the same as that one too. This stuff lasts for a very, very long time. I would say if you're looking for an office scent, this is so sexy, I think you'll get fired. Unless you have a female boss, then she could probably try to, you know. Well, it could ruin your life. It's kind of challenging for the office, I would say, but for in a kind of an everyday use, a dating fragrance, this is amazing for, for going out fragrance, like to a nice formal event, nightclub, this would be an absolute stunner. Um, yeah, and other little nuances like that, I think it would work quite significantly well. Uh, the cinnamon doesn't really come through all that much. It definitely has a bit of a spiciness to it, but the cinnamon is so laying low that it just comes across kind of spicy. It's not like a predominant cinnamon kind of note in here. I feel like you get a lot more tonka bean than cinnamon. In the base, you definitely get this musky, moss, woody kind of mixture in here. Heavy patchouli too, that gives it off this kind of sexy, deep, woody kind of vibe in here. And at the top, so the top has this like saffron, black currant kind of mix, and it comes across pretty sweet. And that sa nice saffron kind of mix, it really is nice. I would say if you're interested at all in it, it's definitely worth it. I think that this one is definitely worth it over the original one, because this one has just a, such a sexier edge to it. Um, and for the price tag, yeah, it's a bit steep. I think, but if you're looking for a really, really nice going out fragrance, let's try this one. Definitely sample it first because it is quite expensive, but you can pick it up at discounters for normal price to designer fragrances nowadays. Have you guys tried the Desire Toxic Lintense? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. I've worn it quite a lot and I really do find it's a pretty much a staple now in my fragrance collection. Let me know in the comments your experience with it. Take care guys, we'll see you next time.